Question number first. What cross sections do you get when you give a vertical cut and horizontal cut to the following solids? A brick, a round apple, a die, a circular pipe and an ice cream cone. In this question, we are required to perform two cuts that is vertical cut and horizontal cut. And both cuts are very simple. They are very much known to you. So let's start answering. Number first, a brick. This can be an ice cream brick. So that is your brick. First of all, let's perform vertical cut on it. Vertical means you are taking your knife and you are cutting it perpendicularly. This brick will be divided into two sections and one of the section will look like this. And now what is a cross section? So cross section is this newly generated face that we get after cutting it vertically. So the question is asking that of what shape cross section we get after performing a vertical cut on a brick. So as you can see, it is a rectangle. So that is first cut. Now we will take the same brick and we will cut horizontally. That is, we will cut from here to all the way around. Then you will get cross section like this. Again, it will be a rectangle. Therefore, we will get both rectangles cut. The only difference is that in horizontal cut, the area of this cross section will be bigger. That is, here we will have length and depth or breadth. Here we will have depth and height. If we were required to find out its cross sections area. So this is all about cross sections. And let's see for other items as well. A round apple. Here you can see a green fresh apple. You must eat it every day because an apple a day keeps doctor away as the saying goes. So it's a round apple. So when you perform a horizontal cut, that is you will cut like this with the help of knife or with the help of your imagination, you will get a circle. So this is a circle. So the cross section that we get after cutting an apple horizontally, so we get a circle. That is horizontal cut. When you make a vertical cut, that is whenever you are cutting your apple, you make a cut like this. Then you again get a circular cross section. So in both ways, you get a circular cross section. So what we learn from these both vertical cut and horizontal cut, we learn that a solid is composed of similar looking cross sections when they are repeated multiple times, then any particular solid is attained. For instance, if this rectangle is piled up, then you get a brick. Again, if this circle is piled up, you get an apple. So this is mathematical way of describing solid items. Now for a die, obviously you know a die. Well, it is an isometric view. As you can see, we have shown this dice in angle. Therefore, it is an isometric view. We will cut this die horizontally with our imagination. Then upper part, we are not showing it. We are just showing the bottom part that we are left with. So it will be a square again because a cube is made up of square ultimately. Again, when you perform a vertical cut, now we will cut like this in our imagination only. Then we will get again a square as the shape of cross section. So this is vertical cut. This is horizontal cut for a die. Then a circular pipe. Well, you have seen circular pipes carrying water to your house. So this is your circular pipe. When you make a vertical cut, then you will get again a pipe, but smaller in length. So this is vertical cut. Again, this cut is in circular shape. That is this cross section is of circular shape. But when you cut it horizontally, then you get this image. Therefore, what is this? This is a semicircle. That is the cross section we attain after cutting circular pipe horizontally, we get a semicircular cross section. So that is for circular pipe. Now for an ice cream cone, 
this is your cone not containing ice cream we are tilting it due to space issues so when we make a horizontal cut let's first make a horizontal cut on it then again it will be like this then this portion will be left and this cross section is again semicircle. again when you make a vertical cut that is we are cutting from here like this then we get this the cross section that we get is a smaller circle that is we get a circumference of the circle so it is a vertical cut so this is a basic idea about cuts that is vertical cut and horizontal cut you cannot always take a knife and perform these cuts the point is you must develop such an imagination that you can imagine whatever cuts the questions asks for that is what cross-sectional shape we will achieve after making any desired cuts because these are very helpful when you study architectural designs in your upcoming years so try to see around the nature and perform these vertical and horizontal cuts on any items and just visualize that what will be the cross-sectional figure attained after performing both these cuts so this is all we have in this exercise that completes your question number first